these are days of fear and trouble for many people. But they can also be days of faith. People fear dengue, people fear garbage, people fear cantankerous political conflicts. In different ways, fear enters the heart of man. I want to read from the book of Exodus a real frame of history when people were terrified that their past will terrorize their future and ruin it. So the theme of this short message is let not the terror of your past terrorize your present and ruin your future. You can say to yourself, the terror of my past cannot terrorize my present and ruin my future. No way. Exodus chapter 14 verse 10. When Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. I want to give you the context. Just few days before this incident, they were slaves for 400 years in Egypt under Pharaoh's tyrannical rule. But in one night, now you can say with yourself, one night, the Passover came. Every household was inside their house. God said, apply the blood of a lamb for every household. When the angel of death passes over, that death will not touch you. That's what they did. But they had to do more. Having done that, being safe one night is not enough. They had to walk out under that same blood, under the same security and authority of the blood. Now they, every household took a lamb. But for us, one lamb of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, has brought to us a Passover. Say with me, Passover. From death to life. From faith to from fear to faith. Also, I want to tell you right now that faith and unbelief travel in opposite directions. And my plea to you today is travel forward in the direction of faith. Don't travel backwards in the direction of unbelief. After such a deliverance, each household decided and came out of their door to join a journey to a promised land. Each of us has a promise. But it has to be downloaded from God our Father from heaven. And they joined together a movement of people, a community of people who were called the people of God. That's right. But this was another night. They were already forgetting the great deliverances of the past few days. When God single-handedly dealt with Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh said, who is Yahweh? I will not let you go. Moses said, God's word, let my people go, let my people go. Pharaoh said, can't. But God proved himself faithful, brought them out. Now there is a step they have to take. You have to take. In front of you is a watery wall called the Red Sea. But God wants to part it for you. And your best promise, your next promise, your next promotion in life is before you. At the same time, the old forces, old temptations, old fears, old generational iniquities. Their corporate name is Pharaoh. Egypt is pursuing you and they are terrified because of the past. Then they cried because there were no graves. They are saying, we are going back to Egypt. It will be like Egypt. No way. There's a way forward. This is a new challenge, new opportunity. The watery wall has to be a forward step. Don't look back and say, I'll have to go back. No. There's a watery wall in front of you for your new opportunity. And there's a God who's waiting to download his promise for you. So we are not going back. So this is the triangular situation. A way forward is waiting for you, but you need faith for that. Way backward is waiting for you. But you need unbelief for that. What is your choice today? You will say with me, faith forward. That's right. Repeat it, faith forward and not unbelief backward. Then comes the promise of God. Moses said to the people, 1.2 million adults are howling and growling. That's what's going on in our nation and in many nations. At the time of my speaking in the city of Hamburg, protesters 30,000 
protesting against G20, saying G20 go to hell. They are asking state heads of states to go to a hell they don't believe in. What decadence, isn't it? But we have a better voice. Moses said 1.2 million adults are growling, howling, a cry of anguish and cry of anger. It's very easy for anguish to turn into anger. But Moses said, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptian whom you see today, you shall see again no more. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Three things. You will see God's salvation today. Two, Egyptians you see today, the old forces, the old past will not catch up with you. Thirdly, the Lord will fight your battles. Can you hold on to these three? And you may know sometimes the rest of the story. Moses stretched out the rod and the staff of his God-given authority. What is that for you? For you, that means being obedient to the word of God. Being obedient to the call of God as the father of the home. The one who gives the next stretch to your daughter and child. Always do that. Mother makes it secure every day. Father gives the next stretch. That's your rod of authority. The call for fatherhood that has come to you from heaven. This is also your obedience to your spiritual father in the faith. You may have 10,000 instructors. Paul said, but I have begotten you in the faith. Thirdly, it is God's call on your life for spiritual call for the kingdom of God. Stretch it out and the waters parted. How did the waters part? When Moses stretched out the rod of God, one, Moses stretched out the rod of God, two, the pillar of the Holy Spirit, the fire, say with me, fire, went backwards and positioned itself between the people of God, Israel, and Egypt. You see that? So Egypt could not come. Holy Spirit sealed it. And then you had to go forward. You can't just wait there. When the Holy Spirit has sealed you, you had to go forward and the east wind blew and the waters parted and they went over and the wind blew again and Egyptian forces were drowned. God's people are safe on God's side. Say with me, during dengue, I'm going to be safe on God's side. No point complaining about failure of politics. They can't do any better. What can they do about a murderous dengue? They can't. But the power of the Lord can do it for you. And last night in our Sunday service, you can watch it on Brookside Television, Brookside TV, or Gospel 24-7. You can watch this program and see how the wind of God blew in so palpably. And we said this breeze into every home, this breath of God around every child to make that child safe. We don't want the dengue mosquito in our house. And we don't want the dengue virus in the body of our child, or for that matter, an adult. And because Christians make their home safe, their entire neighborhood, their entire street will have no more dengue. Can you believe that? So our neighborhood is seeing the salvation of the Lord. This Egyptian that you saw once before, you will not see anymore. For the Lord will fight for you. Will you hold on to that word? I'm going to pray with you. Lord Jesus, everyone who's hearing this message in a vehicle or on their phone or seeing this message as a DVD clip, now, in Jesus' name, let the wind of God blow. In Jesus' name, let the breeze of God come into their home. Let the breath of God breathe upon me, Holy Spirit. Breathe upon the child. Breathe upon father, mother, daughter, and son. Home be safe and because of the safe Christian home the neighborhood will be safe and they will see the salvation of the Lord. God bless you. Join us in Brookside TV.